What's up guys, Rude Awakening here, coming back to you for another video. As you can tell by the thumbnail, this one is a ECW unboxing type of video. Uh, one of them, you know, I probably shouldn't open, or both of them to be honest, but I need both of them because I'm like 10 figures away from completing the line. It, the one I shouldn't open, you guys have already seen, is this Just Incredible. As you can tell, it is signed, but... I've been trying to trade it and nobody wants to trade it, nobody wants to buy it. The card's a little beat up. I don't know if you guys can see it. If it shines. It's bent a little right here. It's bending in the corner. It's bending in the corner. This figure is like a $30 figure. Even with the signature, it's only like 40 bucks. So I was like, might as well open it because I need it. Here's the back. I have all of these figures on the back because Tommy Dreamer is coming. So I'm done with series one and two. Is the front. I love the carding, it's just bent. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. We're just gonna let it breathe. I, I just feel like I shouldn't, but, but whatever, dude. Just gonna let them breathe. I've seen I've seen Zack Ryder open up some other signatures too, so not a huge deal to me. I'm gonna save the back carding. Uh, should I? Should I save this? No, I have all of these. I don't need to use it as a checklist. I'm going to save the other back carding in the other figure. But maybe I'll save the bubble because the bubble is signed by him. So let's rip off all that stuff. So here's the bubble signed by him. But we're going to get into the figure. It comes with the chair. The old chair. The chair stands up when it's not open. You open it, boom. It's my second ECW chair. Now here's the figure. His shirt. Red shirt. Black lettering. I don't think he's... Maybe he's probably never even worn this. It's just they want to put on more figures. He's got the lever in the back. He can probably put the chair in his hands. I'm guessing like this. And you can smash people with a chair. So yeah, his action. What is his action called? Let's see. Oh, I ripped up the thing. I couldn't even see it. Um. So yeah, this one's a very. It's a very plain. But that's how just incredible it was. People are just telling me bad stories about him, so I just, I just like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna open it. Not the nicest guy. I like the black one better, because it's the more uh, regular ECW shirt, and this one's red on black. I like the black on red. It just looks cooler, in my opinion, and it's just like more uh, noticeable. And you got the red, the red laces. Yeah, just very basic figure, but one I needed for my collection now. I'm one step closer to completing it. The action works, you can see. Yeah, that's just incredible. Now we're going to get into this one, Jerry Lynn. This is one I shouldn't even open at all. This is a very expensive, maybe one of the most expensive other than uh, Mike Awesome. This is Champions Clash, as you can see the tag right here, five bucks. I wish it was five bucks at Toys R Us. Uh, this one's a little bent too on the card. The corners are a little messed up. I was opening it no matter what, even if it wasn't mint. And now you got a massive checklist over here, which I'm definitely going to keep the back because I need to check off which ones I have. I have a decent amount of these, but I just need to check it off. Fun fact, these two packs never came out. I wish they did because they're awesome. You got the, uh, can't really read, upside down. Rage War with Lance Storm and Sabu. That's a very cool Lance Storm. Love that Sabu. Um, Air Combat with RVD and Just Incredible. I really like the RVD. The, was it purple? Yeah, purple and black. And then Grudge Match with Tommy Dreamer and Raven. Very cool. And then the ring. The ring is very expensive. One of my like absolute things I like would wish I could ever have if I had a good amount of money, but it's just so expensive. Really cool. So yeah, let's get right into it. They come with stickers and I'm trying to collect the stickers because I'm gonna put them in my car. So I'm just gonna open it. So let them breathe. So that came off perfectly, just how I wanted it to. Now I got a checklist here. And we're just stuck with this. And his action is call versus action. A uh, headbutt, Jerry Lynn headbutt. That's what his action is. I don't think I've ever seen any of these guys with a headbutt action. So this is going to be my first headbutt action, actually. And, to be honest, my first, um, my first, my first guitar on any of them. So we're just going to get right into the stickers. First off, we have Steve Carino, which I'm a huge fan of him. Tommy Dreamer, Michael in the car, Mike Awesome. RVD definitely going in the car. And then Balls Mahoney not going in the car. I'm not going to try to explain to people why I have somebody called Balls Mahoney in my car. 
But I mean, I think these three are definitely gonna go in the car. So. RVD is definitely going. Dreamer most likely, and like awesome. But yeah, let's get into this figure. We the by the way, this bubble is super yellowy. So this person didn't take very good care of it, but it's no big deal. I don't give a shit. I'm opening it up. Okay, so his action, you just pose head pull on back and head what? Boom. I mean, and it's not the best action ever, but all right, comes with the guitar. I'm not gonna use the accessories, so it's gonna go in a box. But here is Jerry Lynn. His arms got the movement going all the way around. I'm just gonna pose him like this and his hand by his side. I think that's what Sandman's action. No, I think he's a twisty one. But you can hear it. There you go. Pretty good face scan of Jerry Lynn. Do I have the picture of him? I don't know where it went. Whatever. But yeah, I'll forget to show Justin Crabble's face scan. Very good because it's basic. But Jaylin's face skin, love it. The pants are super cool. The purple, the like the, the dark yellow. I don't even know what to call that color, but it's like mustardish. Then it's got the silver and black, and then the purple coming down with silver. Another uh, purple going down with silver. This figure is like absolutely mint because you just seen me open it. So I love it because it's an, I need the actions to work on most of my guys. Tajiri's the only one that I have in my collection where his action doesn't work because it's like impossible to find a Tajiri loose with the action working. And I don't want to pay mock for Tajiri because I'm not a huge fan of his. I love Jerry Lynn, love his matches with RVD. If you haven't seen any of them, go check them out. But yeah, this is all I have for today. Quick little ECW update. I've been loving the ECW guys, so I just wanted to almost complete it. I'll let you, I might let you guys know when Dreamer comes in. Like I said, it's going to be slowing down because I haven't found a job yet. But once I do, I'm going to be getting, going right into the Pokemon. I might, might, might buy a Pokemon booster box. I don't know see how much it is and then if it is i'll do a pa uh, pack opening on here but yeah thank you guys for coming by this is just incredible and uh, jerry lynn unboxing if you enjoyed please like and subscribe appreciate the support stay safe and peace